So, if you guys remember this last one, if you guys, uh, if you guys remember we talked about this one, I said rather than multiplying all this out, we can just start, start eliminating stuff as the problem is, right? Because do you guys really want to do 24 times 10 and then do 5 times 8 and then start dividing it all? It's going to get a little messy, right? So let's just start seeing this. Well, 24 over 5, that does not reduce, right? But does 5 and 10, can we reduce that? Yeah, we can say 2 over 1, right? And is 24 over 8, does that reduce? What is it? 3 over 1, because that reduces to a 3, and that would go to a 1, right? OK. So now, then this, so now we have this problem. So now we have 3 g cubed times 2, and then gf, gf cubed is going to be g cubed f cubed, right? Over um, f squared times g to the fifth times f. OK, so now we can start canceling. We can start eliminating some again. Here we go. This is f cubed, right? f squared times f. That's going to be f to the third power. Yes? Well, divided by f to the third power, what do you do? You do subtract them, right? So guess what? These all divide into 1, right? Because this is f cubed on the bottom when I multiply that. And then over here, I'm going to finally get 3g to the sixth power over g to the fifth. Well, those you subtract to get g to the first. So the final answer is 3g to the first. What about that? The two in front of the oh, that's a 6, right? Yeah, I'm sorry, it's a 6. Thank you. So that's your final answer, 6g. Yes? From here to here or here to? Yeah, because 24 over 18 reduces to 3 over 1. So the 24 goes to a 3, the 8 goes to a 1. All right, so I just reduced it kind of. And you guys, you could multiply that all out and then reduce it if you want to, yes? Yeah, you can just, yeah. And then, and then I used the operations as when I wanted them. 